Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install the alpha version of Magic Lantern onto your Canon EOS M. This is for the one, this is for the, the M that has the firmware 2.0.2. .2. If you have the earlier one, which I believe is the 1.0.6, you're going to have to do another method, which I'll have the link down below if you want to do it. But anyways, here's, the, here's how to install it on this camera. First thing you want to do, you want to insert your memory card and then we're going to format the memory card and choose right here where it says low level format choose that then just choose OK and you're ready you're ready to send the computer so now um, you want to take out your SD card and you put in your card reader and wait for the second part of the video alright guys so now you put the SD card to your into your memory card slot on your computer you have to use a card reader you can not hook up your camera to it it has to be through a card reader or through the memory card port on your actual computer side or whatever uh, go down below in the description area there's going to be the it's going to have a link to the files you need now the files on the actual on the actual magic lantern thread the files are all over the place and it's really hard to find them and like half the links don't even work anymore so I made it convenient for you guys I made you guys a, uh, a zip folder that has all the files you need this is for the first alpha version which um, has most of the modules it just doesn't have the dual ISO if you want dual ISO you're gonna have to use one of the newest nightly builds I'll have a link down below also to that this is the first alpha build which which has cool stuff like raw video which I think it's what most people are after and also has, has like stuff like the focus peak and all that all that good stuff so anyways um you're gonna have two when you when you unzip that file you're gonna have two things you're gonna have a exe file and you're gonna have a, a folder that says copy to sd card and that's exactly what you do open up this folder and just copy these three files onto your sd card It's just copying right now. It's going really slow for some reason. But anyways, after you're done copying them, go go back to the other folder. Go go to the to the file you see that's called EOS card. Go ahead and start that up. And make sure right here your SD card is showing up. And you're going to want to check these two, the EOS develop and the boot disk. And then we're going to hit this button that says save. And you check down here, if it says write successful, you are done with this process. Just go ahead and close it up. And put the SD card onto your camera. Wait for part 3 of the video. Alright guys, so after putting the files onto the SD card, you want to put it into your actual camera. And just wait until this light turns off. It's reading the memory card. Then after that stops, just turn on your camera. Push the, the menu button. You want to go to the, the fourth wrench tab. Where it says firmware, choose that. Choose camera, and then or I said update firmware why don't you use OK and it'll actually load up the magic lantern firmware right now actually that's pretty quick you just have to wait and right there says magic lantern and stuff that's a success boot disk flash enabled magic lantern is installed you may now restart your camera just turn it off turn it back on now you you may be wondering how to use Magic Lantern after after you install it because if you click menu you'll just see the the stock menu. Now to activate the uh, the Magic Lantern menu, you want to touch the screen with two fingers at the same time. And then um, you could turn on fun stuff for such as Focus Peak. What Focus Peak does is um if it changes the color of stuff in focus. I don't really use it a lot. The one I like to use is Magic Zoom, which will open up a picture in picture and will show you the the zoom. I'll show you uh, actually zoom in a little bit so you could it will make manual focus a lot easier or regular focus also. A uh, live view histogram you can have that on. Um, the first the first first tab shows you the white balance the ISO. The ISO you can actually change it. Um, 
you can change your ISO in between. You can have like ISO 320 and such as that stuff. I'm going to leave it right there for right now. Uh, and the first thing you want to do is go to the last tab. That says M. And it's going to say load modules now. Choose with the, with the middle button. Choose that. And it will actually load up the, the modules for you. The ones that I installed that come with the alpha version. The first one is ETTR which is exposed to the right. The next two, I'm not sure what they are. I don't use them. The last one is raw recording, which lets you record raw video. If you want to use dual ISO, you're gonna to have to use one of the newer builds. I'll have the link down below for that. But anyways, um, you want to go back to your to your live view to activate the the Magic Lantern live view. You have to click info two times, and then it'll pop up. You see the the histogram will be right here, and all your specs down there. The only thing um the camera using to record is with uh, the meter is not changing, so it's I uh, will expose. I'm not sure if you could tell. Uh, if you want to check um your you want to bring up your picture in picture focusing, just push the share button halfway. Pick where you want to focus, and it'll focus. Actually, I was way too close, that's why it wouldn't focus. But there you go. As you see the, the little picture in picture right there. Now it works a lot better if you're using manual focus lenses where autofocus ones you don't really need it. Unless if you're shooting in low light then it does come in handy. So yeah that's one of the many cool things. Uh, just give it a go if you want to try it out. Any questions or comments leave them down below. Thanks.